so I went to get a chemical peel yesterday and um, this is what it looks like right now isn't that awful so my whole face is gonna really tight like right now and it's gonna peel off tomorrow I, f I noticed some areas are really dark and some areas are lighter I don't know I'm looking so awful though but we're gonna see how it turns out so I'm doing this for people who like chemical peels I'm gonna tell you my experience I've had them before I'm gonna show you the difference I don't usually look like this, I swear. So if you really want to know about chemical peels, let me tell you about them. If you're having a salicylic acid peel, what happens is they cleanse your face, they exfiscate, whatever, your face <laughs> to get off all the oils. And then they take the salicylic acid and they rub it on your face and it burns like a <laughs> It burns. It feels like someone's holding a frying pan on your face. And then you sit there and you let it burn and you die a slow death. Nah, you don't die, but it looks like your face died. It looks like your face got fried. Mm. Anyway, so if you want to know, I wish I had some before pictures, but I've seen, I'm sure you've seen a lot of my videos. I didn't look bad before, I just felt like I, it's good Like if you have acne, they really do help. The salicylic acid actually really helps to kill the bacteria that is on your face as well as to dry up the existing acne that's there. Um, it really dries it up like overnight. Mm. For me, my skin is pretty oily. So it takes me about two days to start peeling. But some people, they start peeling from the very next day or even the afternoon of when they get one done. I don't know. I wish I were them. But it usually takes me two days to start peeling. I'm starting to peel like right here and right here. I do think something was going on in this area of my face. So I'm quite worried about it like I feel this area maybe I was picking at it or something and so that's why it's darker and it's burnt kind of so I want to see what it's gonna come out looking like I'm not trying to irritate I'm not trying to s oh you're not supposed to peel it off you're not supposed to touch it really you have to use a gentle cleanser on your face and you can't use any makeup for about a week so but it really does help to clear up any hyperpigmentation if you do a couple treatments of it it'll be your hyperpigmentation will kind of disappear and if you use like hydroquinone which is a skin lightener it will help to diminish your hy hyperpigmentation which is those dark spots that get left behind from like picking picking pimples or you know just having irritated skin I hope this whole thing doesn't come out to be lighter than the whole area because that's going to really piss me off. Oh, and you have to stay out of the sun. You have to stay out of the sun because, I mean, if this area doesn't get any sun because it's scabbed over and the rest of your face gets sun, if it's starting to peel in other areas except that area, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to have a light patch. You cannot use any kind of cleansers that are not gentle. They can't have any kind of chemicals or you just can't use any very harsh chemicals on your face for about a week. So it's day three. Check it out. It's like totally peeling. I don't want to really help it but I'm not too worried about that spot there anymore because I've seen some of these dark ones here and underneath them is perfectly nice skin so this is all nice skin and all of this here is starting to peel off so like I said my skin is very oily and stuff and I think all these dark spots here are like dried up pimples and I guess I was scratching and irritating my skin so this is why I had this big old scab here and I'm not, I'm not worried about it anymore, but I'm not trying to help it to start peeling or anything. So that's day three on my <laughs> <coughs> chemical peel.
So now it's day four, I think, and you can see most of it is coming off. It's not, it's not because it started peeling over here last yesterday. My forehead still has some to peel off. Most of the black stuff is gone. Just this big one to go now, but I ain't worried about it because it looks, the skin looks good underneath there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's day five, and as you can see, a lot of that stuff is gone. But I still have a couple dark spots. I really do have bad acne. It's looking much better. All that stuff from my forehead is gone. Mm. 